This one comes, this is a long email, can't read all of it, but it's from Scott at arterburn.info. Scott, you wrote, David, listen to all the Motley Fool podcasts, other financial shows too. When I hear experts talk about company buybacks, all I hear about is how good they are, how they can increase a company's earnings per share, which can increase the stock price. Scott says, I am completely against company buybacks. There's a lot of research indicating companies do it at the wrong time. I feel if companies don't want to reinvest the money back into their own company, they should just give it out as dividends, etc. Um, ultimately, Scott, you're asking me what I think about stock buybacks. You did close by saying, I was thinking that if anyone can convince me this is worthwhile for investors, it would be you. Well, no pressure on me. Uh, I will say this. I generally like stock buybacks. And I mentioned earlier how companies can pay out dividends, and I know you appreciate that, Scott, and that may may be your focus as an investor. You may really appreciate dividends, and we can do a separate podcast sometime on what's good and bad about dividends. Um, But it is an efficient way to deploy capital to buy back shares. That's why Warren Buffett and his ilk have typically bought back shares, and he encourages companies to do that, because when you have extra capital, rather than just pay it out as dividends and have it double taxed, you can just buy and retire shares of the company, making each share that you or I own count as a bigger slice of the pie. And this is why I think, in general, it's a good thing to do. Now, a lot of companies ill-time them. You're right. There are some people who, there's no great evidence that shows that CEOs or the corporate finance people, whoever are making these calls, are actually good at picking prices on their own stocks. Uh, however, sometimes companies can consistently do it well over time. If you want to become a student of that, you probably could notice that. You could study the companies that do it well. I'm sure there's a list out there on the internet. It's not the sort of focus I have as an investor, but there's no doubt in my mind that some companies make good decisions when they announce a big stock buyback. A lot of companies, in closing on this one, a lot of companies do it just a little bit piecemeal in order to be able to retire shares that they've just given out as options to employees. So they're trying to run kind of a keep their outstanding shares, their shares outstanding at a neutral number, not allowed to grow over time, but they keep giving out stock options if they're a growing company to more and more employees. And so they just retire shares that way to remain kind of share neutral. Uh, So there are many different motivations, and no doubt there's some people who are horrible at it and some people who are quite good at it. And we'll just leave that one right there. As always, people on this program may have interest in the stocks they talk about. And The Motley Fool may have formal recommendations for or against. So don't buy or sell stocks based solely on what you hear. Learn more about Rule Breaker Investing at rbi.fool.com.